Out of all the recruiters in the country, I'm the only recruiter that I'm aware of that is embedded in strictly rural communities. And you know, here in Alaska and on the Delta, the communities are not connected by any kind of road system, so it's either boat or air travel in order to get there. I don't think there's any other recruiter in the country that even uses their own personal aircraft to do our, my village visits and visit the schools that I have to go and talk to high school students about recruiting. I was a traditional National Guard soldier one weekend a month, two weeks a year. I lived in Bristol Bay, I had my own aircraft. I just flew it as a private pilot because I had plans to become a commercial pilot someday. So I bought one and started racking up hours. Chain of command and anchorage for the brigade that I worked for because I was a brigade plans NCO for S4. Kind of understood where I was and I loved living out in western rural Alaska. Knew I had an airplane. Knew I knew native culture, at least Yupik native culture, fairly well and asked me, would you like a full-time job? So I called him back and said, yeah, I'd love a full-time job. What do I need to do? He asked me to be the recruiter out here because the state was going to place a recruiter out here. They hadn't had one for years and they wanted to put one back in Bethel. The numbers of recruitment and soldiers had fallen off in rural Alaska and the YK Delta, where we are now, the Yukon Kuskokwim Delta, is, uh, has a high propensity for serving, at least in the Alaska Army National Guard, and they wanted to put a recruiter back out here. So they hired me, sent me to recruiter school, and brought me down out here in Bethel, Alaska, and I ran with it from there.